Hi everyone, welcome to day 27 of my 30 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we will be solving one of the interview questions that was asked in Flipkart data analyst interview. So let's see the question. Write an SQL query to fetch the user ID that have only bought burger and cold drink items. Expected output user ID. So this is what we want to return. Okay, let's see the table what we have in the table. So in the table you can see the user ID and the item ordered for that uh, you know by that user so each user basically placing one item in one go like so this user has placed like pizza once then the same user has placed burger once right so the question is saying that write an sql query to fetch the user that have only bought burger and cold drink so basically we want to see the user id who bought both burger in one go and cold drink in one go right so let's see what we need to find out you know solve this problem so first you need to find out the user id which is you know asking in the questions and then we will, we need to see like the count of total orders by that users right so let's say we need count of total count of orders i can say you can say right count of orders so it says that fetch the user who have bought both burger and cold drink so basically we want count of orders has to be two right and then we need to ensure that these are two count of orders they are distinct like it's not like that the user has bought like burger two burger twice right so if we just say distinct so distinct basically is going to return us like you know the user who has bought once burger and one once like pizza or something right or you know something else so let's see how we can solve it okay so i think we got the things that we need so let's go ahead and write first we need user id okay so this is what we need from the table which is orders and then we need count of like let's say i will just for now i'll just say count of item ordered by basically that user right now if i just go ahead and say because i need to if i want to see the total count of orders by this user i need to use a group by by this user id right so i'll say group by this user id which is going to be this now if i see this i can see like total numbers of orders is you know user has basically placed so what we need to ensure that the user is basically the same user could have you know like bought a burger twice right so we need to basically use distinct count here distinct count so that you know the items that we're still counting that need to ensure that they are not the same item you know so now if i go ahead and run it so it's going to basically give me the results of the user id and how many items they have bought basically so this is going to show and the items are distinct which we have now selected now other than what we need basically we need to ensure that only select those user id where basically this you know count that is equals to two distinct counts is equals to two so we can define one condition which is called having right so we can say having this count which is going to be having this count of you know order id equals to two now basically we have the user id who bought like two distinct uh, you know product okay so i think our question is almost solved because we wanted to find the user id who bought two product which is one is burger one is cold drink but we have already defined it right now for example if the user has bought instead of cold drink or burger if the user has bought pizza right so we need to ensure that the user has bought two item that is only either burger or cold drinks so now i'll be using a case statement to ensure that uh, i know that this distinct two product that i'm selecting that is only from either burger or cold drink right i mean all only now i need to use a case statement to basically select only this distinct two products that we are you know basically selecting that is burger and cold drink okay so to do that we can use a case statement if you do not know about the case statement let me know i'll make a video okay so let's go ahead and say and so that means I'm, I'm defining one more you know basically conditions and now i say case when uh this order item in okay i'm using an in operator to basically distinguish that uh, you know burger and cold drink so i'll say when this is from either burger instead of and i'll just use a comma because in goes with the comma now i'm saying that case when this item order in burger or cold drink then what i want in return which is one okay so i'll just put this then in the next line okay then one else what i want if this is uh, this is not, uh, you know false then i would say else i want zero okay so i'll just realign it and uh, after this i'll basically do one thing okay i'll just you know close this statement the case statement 
Now I'm saying case when item ordered either a burger or cold drink give a number which is 1 otherwise basically you know give a number which is 0 now if I just show you how basically what I'm basically trying to you know mean here so I can just go instead of here I can just go ahead and you know make a new query just to explain you a better way so I'll say select case when item ordered in burger or cold drink then 0 else 1 from where from let's say the orders tables okay now if I just just to show you if I just show you this you can just see how it looks like okay. let me see there seems to be a syntax mistakes so let me just check cold ring burger. okay so I forgot the name I need to end this statement so end as let's say count something else okay I'll just say X the column name now if I just run it you can see whenever basically uh, okay I'll just do one thing I'll also select the you know item order okay so item ordered just to show you okay so now it's good to go I can go ahead and say see whenever it is basically ordering from burger or cold drink it is giving one okay otherwise it is giving zero let me just show you now see this user has ordered pizza so we're giving it zero and the user has ordered this user has ordered burger so we are giving it one cold drink giving it one so basically what we are saying if the order is burger or cold drink give it one if it's something else give it zero now then we can simply sum this count right that's how we will be able to see that okay if the order item is burger then it's giving one if the order item is cold drink then it is giving one so basically we have you know two quantity which is one and one so we can just sum this using this sum functions right and uh, we can just say after this we can say else and then we can just say uh, like equals to okay so now this case statement that we have basically this is going to return me like burger if the user has ordered burger it will return one if it has ordered cold drink it will return one so at then basically if we are just summing this we will be getting two if the user has let's say ordered burger but it has not ordered cold drink it has ordered you know like pizza so we will be only having one score so we will not select that user because I'm defining a you know condition saying that this account has to be two and that will only be two when either the user has ordered one burger and one cold ring then only this basically count is going to be two so this is the second condition and the first condition as we told uh, you know that only select distinct item order right so we cannot basically select the item where like burger is you know ordered twice by these conditions so if we just sum this now should basically give us the result let's go ahead and run it and see okay so that was a mistake like I I forgot it end so end as like I will just say X I'm just giving a kind of you know column name although it's not necessary so let me just go ahead things not necessary and simple I can just give end okay so now I got the user ID which is 2 3 and 6 and their count so this user has placed a two distinct order and these two counts are burger and cold ring and this user id3 who has also placed a two distinct order and they are burger and cold ring one burger and one cold ring okay so this is the same user 6 who has placed two order so one burger and one cold ring so let's understand like you know how we did it okay so first we have selected the user id then we selected the distinct count because we want to ensure that count only the distinct uh, you know ordered item if the user has ordered like burger 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 like you know thrice so we will only count once okay so this was the thing that we selected here then we have said the from the orders table then we have grouped it by the user to see basically this count right after that we are using a having conditions to basically select only those users where they have basically placed ordered which is I mean you know two distinct item they have ordered distinct basically the different item not the same item okay this is the first conditions and after the first condition we're saying the second conditions okay where I'm saying that this item ordered that user has purchased which is two distinct order they has to be from burger and cold ring if they have ordered burger they give us you know basically they get one number here and if they have ordered cold ring they get one number here and if they have ordered something else they get zero number here and at them basically I'm summing this the the you know case and then I'm just comparing this equals you know this this uh, whole condition with a two basically so if this is two then select that that means if the user has if the user has ordered but one burger and one cold ring then only it will be two right then I'm saying it has to be two 
so if these two conditions are fulfilled then only we are selecting this user and this basically count so now i don't need this count so i can just say you know comment this one and i can just rerun the query now i have the user id which is two three and six who have ordered basically two distinct product that is one burger and one cold drink so let's go ahead and you know let's verify right if this is correct or not okay so let's say we select the table again select everything from orders so this is the table name so let's see we have the user two three and six let's just write it here okay two three and six so these are the three users who bought like one cold drink and one basically burger okay let's verify it so let's see the user two okay so user two this is the user two here the user, user two bought like one cold drink one burger okay if you see the whole record there is no user two there is only one user two right which is this one so we wanted this user because that user bought basically both the product so basically we want to see you know give offer some basically discount or something right so now let's see user 3 now user 3 has ordered burger and call ring which is also correct that's the reason we have selected it now see the user 6 okay so user 6 has also bought one burger and one call ring okay, there is no more you know order by user 6 okay so now that's it basically now see if you the if you see the user like a one so user one has bought one pizza one burger so you know we have not selected because it's not basically fulfilling although it's fulfilling these conditions which is a two distinct order but it's not basically order item and not from burger and cold drink so that's the reason we have not selected the user one so that's it for this video this is how we can solve any type of basically complex sql queries i'm conducting a three days sql live workshop for 12 hours where I'll be teaching each and everything from basics to the advanced topic of SQL starting from installations of database management system then basically starting with the basic select like statement where close filter order by and using logical operator in operator then group by all the joins in a join left join right join and then in the day two we'll discuss some of the advanced topic like date functions numeric functions string functions views indexing data manipulations update delete statement in the day three we'll deep dive into more advanced topic like self join cross join and CTE window functions and we will work with the JSON file as well. We'll import data into PG admin for from CSB and basically we will solve 30 days SQL challenge questions and we will also work on two real time projects. One is Amazon data analysis using SQL and one is hotel booking data analysis using SQL. If you're interested, please check the link in the descriptions of the video. Have a good day.